Hi guys, this is Ankur here and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Technical Analysis, The Unbiased View. So today's video would be the part 4 in the same continuation of analysis with uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty. So in my previous videos, as I have mentioned, that uh, 17,877 and 17,884 would be the first breakout point or as a resistance, correct? And what we have observed after that, the market did broke this point. Market did came uh, in the first 45 minutes, but it created a very nice pin bar. Correct. So this was uh, this was our area of concern. This was this was the area of concern, which was this. Correct. And Nifty did come below this but in the very first 45 minutes by uh, 10 o'clock it made a strong pin bar and nifty again settled above this area and throughout the day again when nifty tried to come and settle below this area it made a green hammer which says that nifty is not ready to go below this breakout point and nifty <coughs> end of the day <coughs> sorry closed at 17,913 for Monday now this resistance will act as a support and this will be the stop loss for Monday correct and our new breakout point for tomorrow for Monday would be 17,940 to 17,932 actually 17,932 to 17,940 so for tomorrow this is our breakout point earlier for Thursday and Friday this was the breakout point now this has shift as a support so this is support and this would be the resistance correct now subsequently what hap what will happen on monday if on monday if nifty is successfully closing above this region right above 17940 then we can carry forward the longs correct however we will still keep this as a stop loss depending on how far nifty is closing above 17,940 if nifty is closing well decisively above 17,940 for example 17,980 17,990 or 18,000 then we will keep this as the stop loss if nifty is closing within the 10 15 or 20 points range from 17,940 we will stick to this as a stop loss we will consider 17,940 as a support for tuesday only if nifty is closing minimum 40 to 50 points minimum 40 to 50 points from this area correct so i hope i'm very clear i'll just repeat it again i'll summarize it this resistance has become a support and for Monday this is the area which would be the first breakout point if on Monday nifty is closing well above this area which is 40 to 50 point above 17,940 we will consider 17,940 as a stop loss if on Monday nifty is closing very close to 17,940 we will not keep this as the stop loss but we'll stick to this as a stop loss understood now if in case nifty closes below this area then we will not carry the longs why the reason behind it nifty will then break the 50 percent of a upside channel which is creating below the GAN wave 
and the lower range of upside channel correct <clears throat> so as i told other day also even though nifty is trying to regain the strength it has not regained it there is a difference between trying to regain the strength in the structure and regained it it will only regain if it settles above the GAN wave 3 bar 1 and this tested areas. This tested areas. Correct. So Nifty has to settle somewhere over here to give the breakout of this area. Nifty is trying to go up but still it is trading below. Below the multiple support tested on the base. So therefore <clears throat> go not on the sentiment wise but go very carefully on a level by one by one. Second point is because if nifty closes below this area below 17,877 and 17,884 it means it is also breaking the 20 exponential moving average which is absolutely overlapping the 50% channel of this area you're getting my point and in the past we have seen whenever nifty broke the 50% of this congestion zone there was a gap down or there was a very high momentum correct so one it broke with the gap down and one the second time when it broke the 50% of the uh, congestion zone there was a very high momentum zero recovery then again it made a gap up understood so now the same 20 moving average this white color band is overlapping the 50 percent of upside channel below the upside channel so there are two areas this is the larger area and this is the smaller area correct and this 50 percent is the 50 percent of the base with below the base correct so this is base e, a and this is your base b correct so upside base below the actual base so therefore this 50 percent is very very important and when it got forward if nifty breaks this it means it is breaking the 20 exponential moving average so it is breaking two supports not only a single support correct and this area this band still remain act as a resistance until unless nifty conclusively decisively closes above it so this was with respect to nifty futures now coming quickly to bank nifty i just pointed out two observations as you guys know that i have discussed this chart with you other day uh, on bank nifty and i have said that this is a symmetrical triangle pattern the second point which I pointed out is a bilateral pattern, either the breakout or the breakdown. Correct? For the breakout, I have told you two, three areas, the GAN wave and the upper range of the symmetrical triangle and all that. Now, interestingly, if you see what happened uh, on Friday when the governor also came on uh, TV, you see this candle. Correct? This green candle, this one. It tried to give the breakout, but it created a shadow. And there was no closing of the body above this resistance area of the pattern. Have you noticed? It's very simple. So it got the rejections. It got the rejections. This time it tried to go above this, but it created a shadow. Immediately it created a shadow and the body closed below the resistance. This is the resistance for the triangle pattern and this is the support for the triangle pattern and then immediately the next 45 minute this was the first 45 minute the next 45 minute it made a bearish piercing it made a bearish piercing the moment nifty closed with bearish piercing at 38,000 <coughs> sorry 40 you see it made a low of 37,788 then again it made a pin bar 
like what we saw in nifty futures again it made a pin bar again it made a red hammer and you see how beautifully it is taking the support how beautiful it is taking the support four times it took the support here on the same day you see 8th of october 8th of october 8th of october 8th of october correct four consecutive candles took the support of the structure therefore this structure is very very critical structure right now for bank nifty and all the other parameters such as the can wave and the above range of the symmetrical triangle pattern the breakdown this support area remains the same coming to the point quickly for tomorrow monday 37 782 37 750 is this important crucial base nifty should not break down this area nifty should not break down this area on 45 minute chart on 45 minute chart this level correct and for the breakout point for the breakout point the first important area is 38162 for monday 38162 is the first breakout point so this is the base and this is the resistance plus breakout point this is the support plus this is breakdown point correct 38162 the second area the second area is only 38000 395 correct so there is a clear gap of 233 points we can do a very good scalping we can do a very good scalping so for monday please make sure the breakout point is 38162 correct the moment nifty breaks this you can do a immediate good scalping and this area will act as the support and looking at the supports and looking at the rejections it itself has validated that i don't have to tell that this particular area right now where the nifty is spending time this particular area this particular chart pattern is very 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 important any breakout or any breakdown since it is a bilateral pattern will take the nifty with a higher momentum and it is spending a very good time in the consolidating within the triangle understood so i hope i'm very clear it is the continuation of the same series which i have making video this is the, this would be the fourth video so i hope i'm clear with the nifty futures as well as with the bank nifty futures thank you keep watching technical analysis the unbiased view bye bye